Welcome to part three, Gospel Faith Television. Pastor Ojimba Ali, and the topic is still there will never be another Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So here Jesus is, this black African man with a lot of Afro hair and dark skin. When he was put on the cross, he was crucified and nailed to the cross. Jesus was like a world figure. Yeah, Jesus is like to say to the world, this is me, I represent you. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past, I represent you, I'm a world figure. So just like King Pele is the best footballer in the world, Muhammad Ali is the best boxer in the world, Jesus was on the cross, the black man, the black African man with dark skin saying, I represent the whole world, this is me, don't look beyond me. And Jesus Christ is still coming back to judge the world. So it doesn't matter who's trying to compete with Jesus, who's, a lot of fake Jesus is out there. There can only be one Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he's coming back to judge the world. This is why during the baptism of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when John the Baptist poured water on top of his head, a voice came out of heaven. And the voice said, this is my only begotten son, in whom I'm well pleased. That never happened for anybody else. Even before Jesus, even after Jesus, that voice never came again. It was a unique voice that came at a specific time for a specific person. There will never be another Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ fulfilled all his goals on earth. Being walking on water, being healing the sick, making the lame walk. He completed all his goals. Being crucified on the cross was part of it. He completed all his goals on earth. And he is the only man that never sinned in his life. Jesus never sinned, not even for once. <coughs> you can trace the record. He never sinned. Not even a speck or a spot of sin was found on Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's part of why that voice came out of heaven when God said, This is my begotten Son in whom I'm well pleased. God couldn't find no sin. Not even a spot, an atom of sin wasn't found in him. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth faced a lot of false accusations. It's the false accusations that got Jesus to the cross. I'm Pastor Ojimba Alex. I've faced false accusations in my life. I don't even know who's listening to this video. Maybe you faced false accusations in your life. But the truth of the matter is, when you come to a place called Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will begin to face false accusations because the devil's not going to be on your side neither. The world didn't like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When the world looked at him, he said he's the son of God and they looked at this black man with a lot of Afro hair and dark skin. An African to be the son of God? A black African to be the son of God? The world hated him for that. They saw him as the wrong example. He should be someone else, not a black man. But God made Jesus Christ of Nazareth a black man for a reason. To prove to the world that he can do whatever pleases him. But it's not a matter of, it's not a matter of what pleases the world. It's a matter of what pleases God, the creator. And I want you to understand that before Jesus Christ came to this world, his life was already prophesied by the prophets of old. They said there's one to come, there's one to come, there's one to come, there's one to come and save the world, there's one to come to save mankind. So that's why when Jesus was born, the expectancy level was already there. The expectancy level was already high. I'm Pastor Ojimba Alex, and never forget this, the name, the topic today is there will never be another Jesus Christ of Nazareth.